Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while. Um, I just got back from my trip. I went to Florida during the hurricane, which was interesting. Um, I thought I would just do like a quick get ready with me. Well, I hope it's going to be quick. Uh, using the products that I brought with me on my trip. I didn't bring that much because I knew like going somewhere really hot I wasn't going to wear a lot of makeup so I just brought some of my uh, basics plus some of the products that were in my summer makeup basket so yeah I guess we'll just get started I actually didn't bring a foundation with me I thought like when I wanted to wear a full face of makeup I would probably just use concealer so I think yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do but my skin is pretty dry and rough it, I think it's peeling a bit uh, or it's starting to so I'm gonna use my coconut skin smoothie primer so I don't know if you guys saw if you watched the news I'm sure you did that there was a hurricane uh, hurricane Dorian and it was coming from the Bahamas and we knew that like going in to our trip but we couldn't cancel it, so we decided to just go anyway, We, me and my mom. Um, yeah, we decided to just take a chance. But yeah, it wasn't to the best mood, I guess, for a vacation because we were constantly tracking the hurricane. Uh, because it was supposed to originally come like right where we were. We went to Hollywood Beach, but thankfully it didn't. Uh, it went more north, um, but yeah, I feel really bad even talking about it because the what it did in the Bahamas was really bad. Um, it basically destroyed like a whole island. Uh, I think it was called Abaco Island, and yeah, I feel really bad for what happened to them. Um, I actually have been to Freeport, Bahamas, and I really liked it. It was the first trip I went on with my mom, so and we both thought it was like a really nice place. And actually, the place that we went to uh, was called Memories. The whole place actually doesn't exist anymore, not even from this hurricane, but um, I don't remember what it was. It was like two years ago, I think. That one already destroyed that part of Freeport, and now they got this one. So yeah, just like I hope everyone is evacuated and safe. I know they lost like, I think it's like 12,000 houses or more. So yeah, it was really bad. Um, and it's, it's hurricane actually still happening. It's going north it's actually supposed to come to um the east of canada so but i think by then it's going to be like a normal storm so yeah anyway i should just keep <laughs> getting ready or else this video is not going to be quick um for highlighter well i actually brought a palette and this this is the mini um the mark jacobs dew drops the coconut gel highlighter in do you yeah, because I thought like I wouldn't want to put a lot of product on. I might just use this for highlight. But I also brought my Natasha Denona Bloom palette, which has um, this highlight here. But I didn't even use this. Did I? I don't think so. Actually, I think I used this one day as a blush de glow. I can't even see it. But yeah, I'm just going to go in with... Um, some concealer first because I do have a few spots um, that I got while I was there. I didn't really do any of my skincare either. It was just a very chill vacation as much as it could be with an impending hurricane. <laughs> I feel like I see more spots on camera than I do in <laughs> real life. So today is actually my last like day of vacation because it's friday when i'm filming this um so i go back to work on monday and that means summer is over pretty much i don't have any more plans so yeah 
I'm excited for fall though. Um, I used to love summer like when I was a kid and I was like, oh, I wish it was summer all the time. But now that I'm older, it gets like annoying. Like I don't like being hot and humid. And um, in Montreal, it gets like very humid in the summer. We actually had a pretty good summer compared to last year, which was like humid and cloudy every day. We actually had like a lot of sun this summer. But yeah, I'm ready for it to be fall. I love, um, you know, the leaves and the cooler weather and my birthday is in November. So yeah, I really just like this time of year, but the year went by so fast. It's like insane. Like it's already September. I don't, what did I even do this year? I don't know, very weird. So I'm gonna go in with my other concealer to, um, yeah, I have some dark, not dark circles, because normally dark circles are like blue, mine are like red, I don't know, so I just go in with a bit of this, and on the high points, this is basically what I've been doing all summer. I've not been wearing foundation. When I do, it's like a BB cream. So, yeah. I just don't like the feeling of makeup on my skin when it's hot out. Like, I don't know how people wear full face of foundation in the summer. It's like, I don't know. I guess something you have to get used to, but I don't wear makeup enough to get used to it. So this is what I do. I also went to Vermont. I don't know if I told you guys that because I think I haven't filmed since then. Um, and I got some cool products. I think I'll do like a USA haul because um, when I go to the US, I tend to buy things that I can't find in Canada or that like cost too much to ship here so I did get a few fun things that I'm excited about so I'll show you guys those in another video um, yeah for today though it's very simple makeup so I think I'm gonna go straight in with the dew drops and I'm doing this first because it's a liquid product and I'm probably gonna put some powder on top yeah I think I'm going to use my powder bronzer so I'll do this first and with this you really need like to go in with a tiny amount like I'm just putting that much to start because it's actually very metallic and it's getting kind of clumpy I don't know if it's getting old and I just put this like where I put powder highlight and I I do find this is quite gold for my skin tone um, so it's really like a summer product for me I think if I wore this in the winter it would be like way too gold and so I put it on with my fingers first to like warm it up I guess because it's kind of thick this um, but it's really nice on the skin you can see it's like, um, well, it's obviously a liquid, so it's going to melt better into the skin than a powder would. But I just like how it blends. And then with the excess, I put it on my nose. And then I'll just go over it with my sponge just to... Make sure it's not too crazy. Oh, I got a plant. Can you see? Um, I was gonna tell you what it's called, but honestly I can't pronounce it. Something like a draconia? I don't know. It's from Ikea. And I love it. I always wanted like something to go there. Cause um, like I say in like every video, this is the only like position I can film in in my room. 
so it needed something fun in the background. Uh, I need to put lip balm on because my lips are so dry and annoying me. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's like a crazy party. Um, there's a school like behind my condo and they're having a huge party for the kids, I guess. But it's like, there's like a DJ and screaming and a bouncy castle. I don't know. Those kids are getting lit, apparently. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So I hope you can't really hear that much. So I think I'm gonna go... Actually, I'm gonna use a cream blush also. Um, from my Natasha Denona palette. I actually love this thing. I've been getting a lot of use out of it because I always want to reach for it. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this cream blush here, the dark one. And I'll show you how I like to apply it because if you like put too much of this, it could get kind of crazy. Um, but I use like a small stipple brush. So I use this brush. It's the e.l.f. small stipple brush. And I just like gently pat into the product. So it looks like super pink at first and you might get scared. <laughs> But it blends in really nicely. So it looks crazy. But then you take your sponge and you just like blend it all together. Okay, I might have put <laughs> a bit too much on. Normally I just go in with like one tap. But I just love the color. And I love cream blushes because they don't like add texture. Sometimes I feel like my blush looks like it's sitting on top of my skin and I don't like that. So there's how it looks. And when you do this, you like blend it into your highlight too. So it all kind of becomes more seamless. I'm just gonna go in with my bronzer. So I brought my Fenty Beauty uh, Shady Biz bronzer. This is the small like mini size obviously. I'm gonna use my regular brush to put this on. So I brought this one because it's a matte bronzer and I thought like I already brought a lot of other glowy products so I didn't want to get too crazy. I think I can use this bronzer all year round though because it's quite light. I think this is the second to lightest shade in the the line. See like they're playing Old Town Road for like the third time right now. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even have a window open. That's how loud it is. I feel like I never did anything fun when I was a kid going back to school. We just like started school right away. Maybe I just don't remember but yeah. So that this gives like a bit of warmth to the skin. I really like that bronzer actually. For eyeshadow, I actually only brought one thing. I brought my Kaja um, Toasted Caramel. What are these called? Something Stacks. It's not, it doesn't actually say here, I think. Yeah, but yeah. I think if you watch any other YouTube videos, you've probably seen these. They're just like, you know, stacks of eyeshadow. There's three shades in each one. I think I've already even showed this on video before. So I'm just gonna go in with the middle shade, this one here, and I'm gonna put it all across my lid. Cause I knew like I wasn't going to be doing like a full eyeshadow look while I was there. But if I did want to put eyeshadow on, this is what I would have done. Just like put it everywhere with my finger. Well, that went everywhere. <laughs> but that's fine. I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So 
I brought my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel, of course, which I think is like empty, but I still try and use it because <laughs> I don't want to have to buy another one. It's getting quite dry, but there's still like product. And I hate that I can't see like what's left because it's like a dark bottle. I'm trying to think of other things to tell you about my trip. But yeah, we just kind of, well, we only had like a couple of nice days. Because of the hurricane, um, it brought like a lot of wind and clouds. So um, like all the places on the beach where you would normally go and like sit out on a chair with an umbrella, they were closed most of the time. So we kind of just walked down the beach as much as we could. Um, we drank a lot of margaritas. <laughs> well, I did. Um, cause there was a margaritaville like right next to us which was like apparently where the party was at because it was the only place open half the time because everyone was like scared that the hurricane would come. Um, so yeah, we went there a lot. Um, yeah, and we went shopping one day. We went to a casino one day, which was fun. We were like the only people there, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just like for relaxing as much as we could. We, but we were watching the news like every day to make sure the hurricane wasn't coming at us. And actually the airport, we, we went to Fort Lauderdale airport. It was closed like for like two days that we were there. So we weren't even sure like if we could get our flight home, but thankfully it reopened like the day before. Yeah, it was just like a really, like we were always on edge, I guess, because we didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, the we could see like the path of the hurricane was always like going away from us, which was good. But even because it was so strong, like even the outside of it was reaching Florida, which is why like a lot of the counties were under evacuation. But I don't know, like if this makes sense, but like Florida kind of like goes like this. So this part was like almost touching the hurricane. So that was like the main part they were concerned about, which was like West Palm Beach and like Daytona and all of that. But Hollywood is like down here, um, like almost at Miami. So that's why we like didn't get the really bad part of it. Um, so yeah, we were lucky in that sense, but it just sucks like we had to be there during that time because like the day we left, everything was like reopened, beautiful weather, so it was kind of like, oh, but yeah, I mean, it was good to get away anyway and not be at work, <laughs> that was good, so yeah, gotta see the bright side of things. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with mascara. I brought the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because I knew if I brought my Kush mascara, it would just like flake and go everywhere in the humidity. If you guys wanna see pictures, um, I took a lot of pictures while I was there on the beach. It was just like really a nice view of the ocean so you can follow me on instagram if you're not already uh, i always leave my instagram in the description box but yeah if anyone watching this is from florida i hope you didn't have to evacuate and that everything is okay i haven't watched the news like since i got home so yeah, but as far as I could tell, like it was getting a lot better. I love this mascara. The only thing that's weird about it is usually mascara gets dry, like as you've had it longer, but this one is like getting more liquidy and like there's so much product coming on the 
bristles so I have to like wipe off the excess but yeah it's really good if you have like eyelashes that stick straight out you I think you would like this because it's like the only mascara I've ever had that it it actually like curls my eyelashes more as the day goes it seems but yeah I hope I haven't already told you all this because I don't even remember what I said in my last videos. It felt like a lifetime ago. <laughs> I think that, when did I post my last one? I don't even know. July? Yeah, I need to get better. <laughs> and it's not even that I don't have ideas. It's just like, I don't know. I haven't, I guess I haven't felt like putting makeup on because of the weather and like I already don't wear a lot of makeup like most of the makeup I wear is on YouTube so yeah I don't know but hopefully I will well actually I have bought so many eyeshadow palettes it's crazy I'm not allowed to buy any more until maybe Christmas <laughs> because it's getting ridiculous. I haven't used them yet, um, but I want to use them on video, obviously. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that if you like eyeshadow palettes. And, like, there was, like, so many foundation launches, but because I don't re really even wear foundation most of the time, those were, like, not as interesting to me as the eyeshadow palettes were, so... Yeah, I did shop the summer sale as well, so I'll tell you guys all about that too. But for now, I think that's all I wanted to put on my face. This is the makeup that I would have worn. I mean, some days I did wear makeup, but not even this much. But this is what I would have worn in like a warm temperature like vacation makeup. Um, and I did bring three lipsticks from my summer makeup basket i brought this one this is the essence matte 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 in 04 it's like a fuchsia color i didn't wear that i brought my Too faced breakfast club well the shade is breakfast club it's the like peach collection i didn't wear that because i also had like my regular makeup from my that was in my purse, like my lip balm, my lip gloss, and like my Tarte um, lip quench thing. So, yeah. And then I brought this NYX Liquid Suede. Uh, I think it's called Orange County, this shade. Yeah, Orange County. It's like a more, like a liquid lipstick. I didn't wear that either. So... Yeah, I'm gonna wear one of these today for some fun. Do I want to put this orange on? Or this one? I think I'm gonna try this one. I don't think these lipsticks exist anymore. But they're like super cheap. They're um, like... I don't remember, under $5, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm just gonna go with this. Normally I'd wear a lip liner with this shade, but I didn't bring any, so. These lipsticks smell good. They smell like fruity. Oh, there's the lipstick. Oh, and my setting spray. I actually didn't bring my watermelon glow, which is the one I've been using like the whole summer because I was scared like something might happen to it and it would leak. By the way, all this makeup I put in my carry-on bag because I was terrified of this uh, breaking. Oh, I also brought my Makeup Forever Trio. In case I wanted like a more subdued blush. Uh, and sometimes I use this powder under my eyes. Like if they're looking dark. 
Um, but I didn't use this at all. But I was really scared of this and the Natasha Denona powders breaking because they're very soft and the way like they just throw your luggage around like I, actually my luggage is broken from going on this trip so yeah I would recommend putting your like more expensive items in your carry-on bag because you never know what will happen but yeah I didn't bring my watermelon glow because I also have like a skincare bag which I showed in another video. I'll link it below. It's like my what's in my travel bags and I have like the Kodali beauty elixir in there um, and some other sprays like an Aveda toner and the Tarte 3-in-1 um, setting mist so I was like I have enough with those but um, I think for today, because I don't have my skincare bag in this room, I'll just use my Watermelon Glow to finish my face. It's this one here, in case you haven't seen it in my other videos. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys about another product. This is something I got during the Sephora summer sale, but I wanted to mention it here because I use this like every day. Um, it's the Way After Sun Body Soother. I really like this. Um, it's like a foam. I don't know if I'll can show you. Like you see. And it's like very cold. And you just rub it in. Um, and it smells really nice. It's like kind of coconutty, but not super strong. And more like sweet. I don't know, I really love it. But the first, yeah, the first day, well, we got in like late on the first day, so we didn't do much, but the second day was the nicest day we had, and it was like very hot and sunny, and I got burned because I forgot to put my sunscreen on, which is very bad, don't do that. So this came in handy, and then because I just liked the way it felt, I put it on like every day. Uh, and this is the sunscreen that I use. Uh, it's the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch. It's only an SPF 30, so if you do get this one and you like burn easily, you have to reapply this quite often um, or just get like a higher one. But I think this type only comes in the 30. Um, but I really like this sunscreen. If you really hate like sticky, thick sunscreens that don't like absorb well you really would like this one um yeah so i think this video has been long enough like i said i didn't really feel comfortable talking a lot about the hurricane because i don't want to say like oh like i'm so lucky it didn't come to me but meanwhile like destroyed a whole island in the bahamas so yeah i don't know it's very sad so yeah but I have some other videos to film, so I hope you guys just like this little quick update. And like I said, I'll try to be more consistent going forward. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this video anyway, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.